The biggest week in the sport is about to begin here at the mecca of harness racing, the Meadowlands Racetrack in East Rutherford, New Jersey, where Mother Nature has done her part, serving up a splendid afternoon in the Garden State. Our focus will be on fast trotters and pacers and big money. We've come to the center of the racing universe today. Three breeders crowd events, two will be live, the open pace and the open trot. Who are we going to see today? Quite simply, we're going to see the top pacer and trotter in the sport today, both horse of the year candidates, starting with uh, the fella, Pacific fella, who's come up huge in all his events this year, all the major events through surgeries and layoffs and 17 drivers and 15 tracks. He's facing a stellar field today. How about Moneymaker, the international trotting star, whose 40 wins have come in six countries. She hopes to beat the boys again and capture her first Breeders' Crown. Let's take a look at the conditions for the Breeders' Crown Pace. It's coming up next. $170,000 goes to the winner, Ken. Three-year-olds and up a grade one event. And speaking of money, we've got four millionaires in the race and two entries. And we're going to start with uh, Dream Away here. Dream Away, his last win came in November 16th of 1997. A disappointing 0 for 7 this season for last year's Meadowlands Pace winner. And we have At Point Blank and Red Bowtie are coupled together here. Red Bowtie has been off a month. Pacific Fella, he's emerged as the division leader this season. High Ho Silver Heels, the oldest in the field at 7. Ships in off an invitational win in Indiana. And he's for sale, apparently, uh, Gary. But you need a lot of money to buy him. And a bridal change for Western Dreamer, last year's Pacer of the Year and Triple Crown winner. And there is Pacific Fellow with regular driver Cat Manzi, currently 8-5 to five on the board here at the Meadowlands. And Ken, he was very strong in the Pacing Classic final here at the Meadowlands just a short time back. And as according to driver Cat Manzi, this horse does not know the meaning of different distances. Here he is on the lead. He's being hounded and pressured by uh, G.G. Digger in the mile and one-eighth pacing classic final on July 18th as we roll through the stretch cat Manzi seized control rated a moderate pace and out sprinted a boxed in dream away look at John Campbell with dream away here no racing room for him and Pacific fellow became cam fellas 12th millionaire that was not a very taxing effort for him despite the added distance he's proven that he recovers quickly Gary he's actually put on weight over the past two weeks all right, let's talk to the cat man himself, driver Cat Manzi aboard Pacific Fellow. We see them right now on the racetrack. Cat Gary Seibel here in the Pacing Classic final here at the Meadowlands. A tough feel, but red bow tie, a nemesis for Pacific Fellow back in. Any different strategy for you today? Well, uh, you know, the fact that red bow tie is off a month, you know, throws kind of a monkey wrench in here. I have no idea what to expect from him, but he's a good horse, and, uh, you know, I still figure him as my main competition. Cat, how does he feel uh, today compared to uh, last uh, two weeks ago? Well, he, f he feels pretty sound. Uh, you know, he's usually kind of bumpy before the race. He has a few of his problems, but he's uh, he seems pretty uh, pretty limber today. So uh, I'm expecting a good race. All right, Cat, good luck and safe trip. Let's head up to track announcer John Bothy for his thoughts on the upcoming Breeders' Crown Pace. John? All right, thanks a lot, uh, Gary. One thing I have to say about this race is that Dream Away has raced this year 0 for 7, last year's Meadowlands Pace champion, but he's raced well in every single start and has just missed out by a nose or bad racing luck. I look for a monster effort today from Dream Away, and I think with John Campbell, who certainly has a habit of winning in spotlight conditions, I look for Dream Away to really put in a great performance. What about this great weather, guys? I haven't let you down there, at least. John, you didn't let us down at all. A beautiful day here in the Garden State, and we're looking forward to the $340,000 Breeders' Crown Open Pace coming up shortly. Four millionaires, maybe five. We'll find out. Welcome back to the Meadowlands as we get ready for the upcoming Breeders' Crown Open Pace. There you take a look at the two horse. It's at point blank for driver Jack Moisev. Ken, this is a horse that you put a lot of faith in. Well, I think Red Bowtie's stable entry is going to be a bit short today, but uh, I like at point blank's chances. He raced third behind Dream Away last out and angled in the stretch, and he simply blew by the favorite in 26 seconds flat. He cruised to a lifetime best of 150. It was his fourth on the row. His problems were not physical, but mental. Trainer Monty Gelrod instructed his drivers to start leaving the gate with him. It gets his attention. He stays more focused. And obviously, Gary, he's gotten the winning habit. There is a look at At Point Blank, who right now is getting some 
work done on him. Looks like uh, they're working on his head right now. A little bit too far away for me to actually see what's going on. Earplug might have fallen out, but now it's all set to go, and they are set to go in our $340,000 Breeders' Crown Open Pace at Point Blank and Red Bow Tie. Red Bow Tie has been off a while. There you see the field quickly, so we're just about ready to send it up to track announcer John Bothy with the call of the 1998 Breeders' Crown Open Pace. John? And thanks a lot, Gary. Well, we've been watching these uh, free-for-allers go at it all year long, and this should be a good one here. Early battle for position is going to be a big key. Here they come, and the Breeders' Crown open pace. And they're off. And Western Dreamer on the outside looks for the lead towards the inside. It's Pacific Bella. And also moving through, that's at point blank. Around the first turn, and there's a scramble for the early lead. Entry mates going at it. It's Red Bow Tie to the front with that point blank second a length and a half. Pacific Bell in third, then two to Noble Ability. The other two more, it's Dream Away, who settled in nicely fifth. Then a length and a half to Western Dreamer. After that, Hi Ho Silver Heels with Master Barney. The trailers are Bad Bird and Toontown, 26 and 2 with a quick opening corner. Now they race down the back stretch. We've had a bit of a win today. A factor going in their face down the back stretch. And it's Red Bow Tie leading at a length and a half. At point blank is second with Pacific Bell in third. Noble Ability fourth. Dream away. Has to come on the outside fifth. We'll look to flush out cover trying to get Pacific Bell out. The half, 54 and 4. On to the far turn. And it's Red Bowtie with a length and a half lead. Then it's two more. At that point blank, Campbell's got to come first over with Dream Away. And Pacific Bella says thank you. We'll follow. They approach three quarters. And it's Red Bowtie leading it by a length and a half, too. Dream Away on the outside. Three quarters. 123 and three. They come to the top of the stretch. We've got a sprint to the finish from here. It's Red Bowtie and Luke Willett. Leading it by two. Campbell will try to run him down with Dream Away. Then it's two more to Pacific Bella in deep stretch. It's Red Bow Tie in front in one, 50 and one. So Gary, just a little too much there when you see 123 and three come up after that 54 and four half. You know somebody's closing in uh, 26 seconds, and it was red bow tie. Quite a drive by Luke Willett. All right, John, thanks so much, and great call. 150 and one, the time. What an incredible year for driver Luke Wallet and red bow tie, who becomes the fifth millionaire in the field. Luke Wallet, the winningest driver money-wise in the sport in 1998, and red bow tie had been off for a month and blew him away. Only hit the second supplemental entry to win as well. Supplemented for $50,000 when he was scratch sick. The pacing classic final and overcame a severe case of colic. Plagued by foot problems. Here he is on top as they uh, turn for home. Off that, as John Bolte pointed out, rather moderate 123 and 3. So Luke Willett was able to rate him. And John Campbell was not able to flush any cover here as he uh, tries to close in on Red Bowtie, who simply yeah. digs in and fends him off and closes in in 27 and 3 fifths. 150 and 3 for Red Bowtie, who has been plagued by foot problems throughout his career, but blacksmith Mitch Kelly has done a great job of patching his feet, and uh, now not only is he a world champion, but he's a millionaire. All right, so Red Bowtie, and there is your winner, with Luke Wallet aboard, a new millionaire. Winner of the $340,000 Breeders' Crown Open Pace, Red Bow Tie gets the job done. A Florida bred wins. Lots more to come here on a beautiful day in New Jersey. The Breeders' Crown and Hamiltonian eliminations continue. We're back at the Meadowlands, and there you see Red Bow Tie. An incredible effort today. The horse had not raced in just about a month. A four-year-old Florida bred son of Raging Glory, owned by Siegel, Sharp, the Elegant Stable 9, and TLP Stable of New York. Trained by Monty Gelrod of the Dwayne Marfisi Stable, and the winning driver, Luke Qualette, who is standing by right now with our Ken Warkington. Ken? 
Thanks a lot, Gary. The Metal Hands Pace Connections click again. Dwayne Marfisi, Monty Galrod, and winning driver Luke Willett. What a season for you. And uh, tell us about this uh, horse and how he felt being off so long, off four weeks. Well, you know, he always feels good, and he scored down feeling well, and he's perky, and he was very sound. You know, he's had a little time off the racetrack, but, you know, being off so long, you always wonder how's he going to how's he gonna be in a stretch, but obviously he was himself. Okay, let's take a look at it at the top of the stretch. Dream Away is coming after you, but you got a bit of a breather with this guy. You were able to control the pace up front. Were you surprised at that? Well, <clears throat> I didn't know if Cat was going to try to regain with his horse or whatnot, but uh, when I made the front past the quarter, I went on a little bit, and then I was able to get a breather around the last turn some. Okay, this horse is digging in here, and uh, how much more have you got here? Well, you know, it looks like there might have been plenty left, but, you know, uh, I wasn't really asking him, and I had the bit in his mouth, and that was enough for today. A real class horse. He becomes a millionaire today. Did you know that? No, I, I didn't. Good for him, because he deserves it. He's, he's quite an athlete. And so are you. Great drive, Luke Willett. And Gary, back to you. All right, Ken, the Breeders' Crown pace is official. There you see red bow tie, number 2A, 660, 420, and 220. Dream Away, 1A was second, 460, and 210. And Pacific Fella was third, 210. 2720 for the exacta 4320 for the trifecta let's take a look at the complete order of finish in the three hundred forty thousand dollar breeders crown open pace and again red bow tie the newest millionaire in the sport that made five in the field well great races in the breeders crown open pace are certainly becoming a habit this year we had a great one